Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just uh, getting with you guys, man. Uh, just, I know uh, we've been home lately, all this quarantine stuff, and, uh, you know, people trying to figure out what to make, you know, instead of e eating out or, you know. So, uh, excuse the background noise. You know, my son, he's like on the Roblox and stuff. So, uh, today, my only day off, I'm a central worker, so I'm gonna just uh, like to break it down in the kitchen. I didn't get to show you what I threw on there, but uh, we'll get to that point one sooner or later. But uh, this is my first time um, posting a YouTube video, so I'm just gonna break it down. This is a mess. I'm gonna make uh, Spanish or Mexican rice. So um, there's different things you can add. I'm just gonna go basic, some simple, you know, but um, I do like making uh, my Spanish rice with a whole bunch, a lot of different things in it. So uh, here's a basic one. So what you first need, of course, is the long grain, the long rice. It don't have to be this specific one, but um, yeah, rice. There's the there's rice I'm gonna be grabbing out of. You need a pan with the lid. So you have to, have to start cooking it, you gotta kind of steam it, right? So what we're gonna go is uh, ingredients. Here's the ingredients. So like I said, it's gonna be quick. Usually I like using, uh, real onions but uh, we're gonna use onion powder today so i'm gonna try to get this going it's already almost six o'clock you know what i'm saying on the west coast so i like using a uh, garlic powder but that's all we got today so you gotta sometimes you just gotta use whatever you gotta use you know what i'm saying so but remember the garlic salt you do not when you start uh you start seeing me pour it i won't pour a lot because I'm not a salty person, and if you pour a lot of this, uh, it'll ruin your rice. It'll be real salty. You're not going to enjoy it. So uh, then I like using this, the beef bouillon. You could use uh, these little beef bouillon packets, or you could use, uh, we're not going to use all of them. We're just going to use one. So uh, you could use either one of these, or you could use, uh, you know, those canned bouillons, beef or chicken shrimp whatever you, whatever floats your boat you know it's up to you i like mine real saucy so we're going to use a, a big can of tomato sauce one big can of tomato sauce but if you don't have that and you're trying to conserve your tomato sauces you can use one little can and depending on how you want it but um you got cooking oil so you can use uh, canola oil you can use vegetable oil you could use uh, olive oil. Right now, I'm using av avocado oil. It's a little different, but you know, whatever you got, you gotta use, right? So let's get it. And then a cup. Cup is for, a cup is for the rice. Cause we're gonna put, we're gonna grab two cups of rice and then we're gonna get water. So that's how we're gonna start off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. If you're barely starting, you probably want to start at a medium high because you will, if you're not on top of it, uh, you will burn the rice and it'll just, it'll be real hard. I like cooking it on high because I just like getting it in, you know what I'm saying? Getting it in, frying it, doing what I got to do, and then watching it the whole time and just get it done with. So, uh, so check this out. So now we're just going to add oil. got water in the pan so what you want to do is dry the water because if you don't dry that water it's gonna it's gonna start popping at you later when you put the oil so just kind of briefly dry the pan out be careful water and oil hot oil do not mix it will start popping on you it'll burn your skin so it's a heads up I don't nothing to be fear of just a heads up though so I try to use the best oil I could, so uh, no cholesterol and stuff like that. So you're gonna put a light film of oil and you're gonna swirl it around. Okay, just gonna leave that on high and let it get to where it needs to get to, the temperature. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab two cups of rice. Open the other one, but I'm 
I don't have to, I don't have to get hot real quick. It'll, it'll do its job. But this is about another cup. See, if you look, it's about another cup or so. So what I'm gonna do is just pour the rest. So. So the good thing with rice is uh, um, you can use it at least two days. So you could cook, you know, you could cook as much rice as you want, depending, you know, if you want to just want to cook a little bit, that's fine. If you want to cook a good sized pan, you know, um, just go ahead and do that. You, it's good for at least two days. So, um, so here we go, Let's see. So I'm gonna switch over and put, uh, Put my phone on this uh, little box I made a hole in. I'll get a fight, but it's just gonna do the job, I think. Hopefully, hold on. Give me a second. Okay. So, right now, everything's heating up. The rice is starting to, um, starting to heat up, it's starting to cook. So what we're gonna do is mix the rice around. We we'll get the rice, little, all the rice pretty much oiled. You see, there's all the rice is kind of looks like it's wet. So that's what we're gonna do. You know what I'm saying, just let it sit. So now, let's prep. We're gonna prep. So now, while it's heating up, we're gonna go ahead and open the tomato sauce. You know. Get everything ready. Open the tomato sauce. Let's get it ready. And now what you're gonna do is get the bouillon. Bouillon packet, open it up. Just get everything ready. It's better just to have everything ready. So then keep, we're gonna keep stirring though. Cause if you leave the rice in one place, it's gonna burn. The, the object, the, I mean, yeah, the object we're trying to do is uh, get these rice brownish, you know, golden brown. It makes a difference. The, uh, the texture and the quality of the rice after you cook it, if you don't fry it right, it, sometimes it's soggy and soft and nasty. We want a good uh, texture in the rice. So you can not see, I have it on high, so we're gonna keep moving it, you know what I'm saying? This is speed rice. So we're gonna speed on cooking it. You know, if you lower the temperature, it's gonna take a little longer than this video. So I'm just kind of giving you a heads up. Make sure everything's even. Okay, while we're waiting too, we're gonna get water. We we'll go ahead, remember that cup we just used for the rice? We'll go ahead and start filling it up with water. Now we're just seeing and the water's ready. So on the water, me, I like using, I don't like using sink water because sink water is kind of, I don't know if, what kind of sink water people have in the United States or wherever across the world, but our sink water is a lot of chlorine and all that. So I use a uh, purified water on my food, on my, basically all my food, I, I use purified water. And sometimes you're not gonna have it like that, you know, especially nowadays with everything going on and the shortage of water. You can, um, best way to purify water in your sink, if you want it for cooking, is uh, go ahead and boil it. And it'll, it'll get most of the unprepared, uh, un, what's it, uh, all the bad stuff out. You know, sorry, I'm trying to use big words, which uh, obviously I'm failing. But, um, so like again, we're gonna, Move it around, flatten it out. So yeah, um, like I said, the background noise, my son's playing Roblox right now. So he's, he's, being, he's talking to his cousin on the phone, playing Roblox. No seven-year-olds, they're never, uh, you know, <laughs> their volume is never low. So, um, I'm gonna try to make this video. We have 
we have dogs, we have uh, birds and stuff, so you can hear a lot of background music. I mean, uh, music, but um, <laughs> noises and stuff. So. Uh, So we're not done. It's not not all the rice is uh, crispy or, or toasted. So we're gonna let it sit. Just keep moving it. Move it, flan it. Move it, flan it. So like I said, if uh, if your rice is not shiny, like oils on all your rice, uh, go ahead and keep adding a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? We want all all the rice with the, you know, to get wet from the oil. Again, uh, Mexican rice or Spanish rice, they have a whole bunch of other ingredients. We're just gonna make it basic, but good. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be, it's gonna be a hit. It's always a hit. You know, depending on um, if you got all day or not, usually use, um, use tomato sauce and uh, either crushed or peeled tomatoes. I like using those, pretty cool. Or instead of using onion powder, you can use regular onions. You toast the um, toast the onions in the the oil before you add the rice. But we'll make another video. I'll show you guys all that. Um, you see how some of it's already brown? We're gonna get all of them where it needs to be. All of them need to be that good color, golden brown. JJ, can you lower your, your voice a little bit? Thank you. So yeah, I hope everybody's doing fine, you know, all this quarantine stuff and all this stuff going on, you know. I know we got a lot of things going on in life. I just uh, pray everybody's doing good. And um, that's about it. I don't wanna go, in, go into detail, you know, you're here to watch a cooking video or not hear me ramble about stuff so um just be safe be cautious and uh god bless everybody and we're almost there so remember it's gonna take longer than this video if you're just first time doing it because uh your temperature you're gonna want to keep your temperature like uh medium high me, I'm doing it high, so this is uh, me cooking it at high temperature. So after we get this, right, this is gonna be all brown. We're gonna add the, we're gonna add water first. So when we add the water, it's gonna steam up, so just kind of be careful. Get you keep your head away from the pan because it's gonna steam up because this is hot. I'm gonna add me, I like and it don't matter, you can add the water first or the tomato sauce first. So one or the other first, it's fine. Whatever's in front of me first is what I grab. So Remember, you guys cannot leave the rice sitting without stirring it. You'll have burnt rice. And it won't. It'll taste real. It'll taste nasty for sure. If you guys, um, this is my first video, like I said. So, um, whatever you guys want me to make next, um, you know, if it gives me a day, if you give me a day or two, I'll kind of get to it.
we're almost there. See the, the rice is almost brown. Like I said, we're an animal refuge. We like, we like our pets. We, we have our dogs out and about. They're probably gonna be making noise right now. We got birds, so you'll probably hear birds chirping. Now we're at, see right there. See the brownness? That's how we want it. That's how you know we're ready. All of them pretty much look like that. So we're gonna add one cup of water first. We're gonna add, a, like I said, a whole cup of tomato sauce. We're gonna grab more water, another cup of water. Okay, because we added a good amount of rice, we want to make sure we add an, enough uh, water and rice ratio, or it's not gonna come out right. You see this where the rice? You can see the rice floating on top. It's a thin layer of uh, water and tomato sauce. That's not gonna do. So you have to add a little more. Check it out. See, this looks good right here. So if I added a whole nother cup of water. So you know what, I might add another half a cup just to be safe. Because what happens is um, when it starts steaming, all the water dissolves. And then if you're, if you're without water, if without water in the rice, you're gonna burn it. So or it's gonna come real dry. So you put a half a cup of water added, another half. So like I said, we're on high, we're gonna mix it. We'll mix the rice and the water, get it going. We'll get that, that bouillon. Make sure you crumple it up, okay? You have to break it up, okay? You have to break up that bouillon. You don't, you don't break up that bouillon, then you're gonna have a, a clump of bouillon. Well, someone's eating rice and is gonna eat a clump of bouillon. What's gonna be real salty? And be like, what the, what the heck were you doing? So you kind of mix it. Okay. Now, remember we go back to the garlic salt. I said I don't. I use garlic powder because garlic salt is. It's real salty, but you gotta do whatever you gotta do. You just go around it. Okay, that's enough. You can never go wrong with uh, putting a lot of onion powder. So, okay. So now, now it's boiling. Stir it. Stir it, make sure, make sure that you get the bouillon and everything smashed up or dissolved. Okay. That's what we're doing right now. So, that looks good right there. Put on the lid and just let it sit. So now, while you're, while you're watching the rice, 
you got a little couple minutes to clean up your uh, workstation or I mean your um, not workstation <laughs> well you're it is a workstation because you're putting in work on the stove but you have a chance to pick up a little bit before you, you lower the temperature so right now it's just boiling it's high temperature still I'm not gonna talk for a, minute, just a couple seconds because I'm gonna clean up a little bit.